Hi, today we're going to discuss about the purchase acquisition. Um, it's an extension that we have built on Dynamics 365 Business Central. For more details about our extension, please visit our website provided in description. Um, so our purchase acquisition can be uh, entered by a team member user. So currently I'm logged in as a team member license. So we can go on a purchase acquisition. Purchase acquisition can be um, can be searched through the search bar available. I'm going to create a new purchase acquisition by clicking new. And uh, the number is automatically generated. So you can set up the number sequence as per your need. I'm going to put a description. You can put any kind of description, document date. Then we have some fields that can be used and can be integrated with purchase order like responsible person, when the number, location code, job number. I'm going to put the required date, let's say 31st of July. And I'm going to keep the currency uh, blank. So I, I want to use a default currency. I can put the business justification, let's say an OPEX. OPEX uh, you can put any kind of um, <clears throat> internal reference number and a responsibility and I can select. In the type we have uh, exactly the same that we have in purchase order. I'm going to select the item, select the item number, let's say it's in at its desk. I'm going to select the vendor. I'm going to buy let's say 10 quantity and each desk cost me around 250 dollars um, $250. and I'm going to Pass this on main location. I'm going to add another item. So that's going to be, um, let's say, chair. And this one I'm going to buy from another vendor. So that means that in, in a single purchase acquisition, you could have multiple um, vendors on different lines and they can result in different purchase orders. I'm going to put the quantity, let's say, for 10 and the, the price for the chair. Is, let's say $150 and I need that on my main location. I can add attachments, any kind of attachments I can add. I can add multiple files for the attachment. I can print the purchase acquisition and this template can be modified as per the requirements, as per the needs. So we can modify or change this template. Um, we have the approval mechanism available, so we have we have the workflows. So we have used uh, the standard uh, that standard architect which is available with Business Central. You can configure different kind of workflows based on departments or based on different um, fields. You can trigger those workflows and send it to different people. So I'm gonna send this for, for approval, and this approval has been sent. So rest of the process. Uh, is uh, is based on the that you know is a, is a procurement manager who's gonna review this purchase acquisition and convert this purchase acquisition to a purchase order so i'm gonna sign out from this particular vendor i'm gonna sign in with another account so now we are logged in as a as a full user and we can see that we have a request to approve okay i'm gonna go inside that request for approval and this is the one two one one i can I can open the record, I can see the purchase acquisition details. If I have attached any kind of document, I can review those documents. I can reject, I can delegate, I can I can do any kind of thing. So I'm just gonna back, go back and gonna approve my record and it goes from here. I'm gonna open the purchase acquisition once again. So here's my purchase acquisition. I believe uh, this is the one. And uh, now I can process the purchase acquisition and convert this purchase acquisition into an order. So it says that you want to convert the purchase acquisition to an order. I say yes. And this is converted to an order. I can go to purchase order. And uh, I can sort by acquisition number. Just so, so you can see that um, one purchase acquisition can result into multiple purchase order and all the information that has been entered on purchase acquisition is transferred to purchase order and now i can 
send this purchase order to my vendor and process the purchase order normally. So thanks a lot for um, uh, for looking at the demo and uh, please do let us know if you need any kind of assistance or further details. Um, the details for the Quantica information is provided in the description. Thank you very much.